Yeah. Excellent. It's been a while. I just got back from um, from Edmonton, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to go and uh, do some work. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm still not done, mm -hmm. so I just rushed in. You know, hopefully I can finish what I'm here for and on time, and then hit head, back again. Back. But I couldn't, you know, help by but to try and you know I know how busy you are, so try and make some time. Yep. And then hopefully get some time from you as well to okay. do this because it's been long overdue. Okay. We've yep. been um, trying to do this for a while. Yep, yep. And, um, you know, first, of, first, first, first and foremost, yep. you know, my question is, how do you do this? I mean, you play hockey, Dennis. Yes. You are the most fittest yep. amongst your peer. None yes. of those can even keep up with you. How do you do it? Well, you saw me play and you recorded it. Well, I record, I have, I have it, all the footage. How did I look okay? Amazing. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with you. I have a guy that's the same age as me. Yeah. He looks like he's in his 80s, and he skates like he's in his 90s. He's so slow. And I told him about nutrition, but he didn't want to get into it. Damn, and that's it. I don't know why he's even playing with it, because he just, uh, he's a pylon, which is a term with that orange cone. He, he's just on the ice, and everybody just skates around him, and I skate, I blow by him like he's standing oh, don't. still. Oh, no. So if I was that bad, I probably, I wouldn't play. They wouldn't, but, they wouldn't let you play? If you were that bad? They well, no, because they know me now, everybody, they love me. So, mm -hmm. you know, so they'd, they'd let him play as well. And, uh, cause he'd played there for years, but I plan on playing in my nineties, so we'll see. Cause you, 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 you actually really, really good. Yeah. And, um, but how old are you now? 75. 75? And a half. <laughs> 75 and a half yeah and you yeah. are still that fit i just played with uh you you didn't see him but uh two 19 year olds that graduated from junior a two, you know 19 year old guys yeah and they're going to be going off to college hockey yeah and uh they're very good yeah um and i said to the one guy why don't you try to go around he says you're too hard to get around he he finally did get through me once but, but wow. uh um, and uh so i put they want to know what nutrition to put them on. So I put yeah. them on a nutrition plan. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what everybody, it's all about nutrition. So that's what I do is nutrition. Wow. And I don't take any medications. There's no need. Doctors will say, oh yeah, you need medication. No, I don't. They go, you got high, a little bit of high blood pressure. I said, it's not high enough. It's not, it's not, it's not for my age. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter at all. So, so what, okay. So what is high blood? Does, uh, is this, a, is this, is it something? Is it a sign of something? Well, high blood pressure has to do with the stiffening of the uh, blood vessels, uh -huh. and then the blood pressure shoots up. So doctors, they have a lot of myths that they don't understand, and yeah. they, and uh, so there's two types of, yeah. of blood pressure, uh, uh -huh. two things that are happening: blood pressure, uh -huh. and uh, they go by this high, high number, which is high in somebody my age. Uh -huh. um, but the key is the other number, and mine isn't that high. Uh -huh. So I had doctors tell me, I, I don't need it. I've read all the data, so I, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm a uh -huh. researcher. Uh -huh. And uh, so I, in my clinic, we would take people off uh, up to 20 pills a day, okay. pharmaceuticals, yeah, and yeah. put them on nutrition and get them off it in about six or eight weeks. Okay. They, don't, they don't need the drugs. Um, and as far as pain, we took care of pain, Be much better than medicine. They just put uh, power from drug pill, uh, medications that can ruin your gut or put you, make you high. They can make you high? Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and that can bind you up and other things and mm -hmm. like different side effects. Mm -hmm. So you can do it naturally and get rid of the pain naturally. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, you just have to know what you're doing. It's diet related. Well, you know that. It affects your pain. Right? Yeah. No, well, I'm, I'm like in... <laughs> I'm in great shape now. Yes. You know, but you know, I'm more concerned. Yeah. You know, I'm. You know, actually, the main, um, actually, you know, reason we're having this conversation is to do with you, your fitness, because it looks like you know you kind of manage to slow aging. Yes, you do. When, that's right. When you take, yeah, that's they're right. called anti-aging. Anti-aging. That's right. So, so how exactly do you do that? What's your daily routine? Uh, I'm pretty open as far as my diet I don't I'm not vegetarian I'm not uh, you know I, there's some pushing the carnivore diet which is all meat I can't get into that yeah. I uh, uh, I don't eat as much um, and 
uh, probably because I don't eat as much as I used to. I've lost 10 pounds. So I'm, I'm in, my usual fitness is 165. I'm down to 155. So wow. I'm, not, I'm not a heavyweight by far. Wow. And I got skinny legs, but I can skate. <laughs> That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so now, what I wanted to know also is, um, what's your morning routine like? Okay. What do you do, the first thing you will wake up? I, I take 15 or 20 supplements a day. 15 to 20 supplements? Yeah, I, I take a little day. less than I used to um, because I feel so so fit. I don't need to take it as, okay. as often. Okay. Um, I, I start and I have a, uh, take my morning diatomaceous earth and okay. Okay. my supplements that I take, Camu Camu. Okay, so I'm gonna, I wanna, okay, so what do you do? The first thing is you take your diatomaceous. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and then camu camu. And I don't eat breakfast. Oh, you don't do breakfast? No. Okay, so, the, so. I, 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 uh, so I, no, I break the fast, so, the, so I don't break So the actually, fast. no breakfast. Yeah, I, I, will, I don't eat till lunchtime or even later. And it depends what time I go to bed. Uh, sometimes I go to bed at two o'clock in the mornings, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm a night hawk, so I can stay up late. I do have a nap now because of my age. I just do have a nap for, about 40 minutes to an hour, some days. Some so days you, do, you do take a nap in, yep. in yeah. between? Yeah. Okay, so um, so the first thing is, you know, you said, you know, when waking up, once you get up, no breakfast. Right. When when do you break the fast? So, so that's called intermittent fasting. So yeah. if I eat by eight or not, I'll go later because I'm in such great shape. Uh, if I had an issue, I'd go, you know, you're supposed to go 12 to 16 hours. So I go 12 to 14 okay. hours without eating. Okay. So I don't eat till noon or 12 or one o'clock. Okay, and, and you I, don't get hungry? No, I just have coffee in the morning. You just have coffee, okay. Yeah. And tell me, what's, we, we, uh, we, 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 we're coming back to that. Yeah. Um, how do you, how do you uh, deal with craving? Uh, cra I avoid the foods that cause the cravings. Oh, so it's, it's the food that causes the craving? Food allergy, it's called leaky gut syndrome. And so anybody that has food cravings, it's the, it's the food. Sugar is one of the worst, but I don't have a problem with sugar because I knew the literature. A uh, doctor wrote a book uh, 50 years ago about sugar being dangerous, not good for you, and they ignored them. And uh, so we haven't had sugar in the house for 50 years, like a pound of sugar. Well, yeah. you're going to get sugar in everything outside when you have to eat on the run yeah. or whatever. You're going to get stuff with sugar. What about, what about honey? And honey, I will have. You'll yeah. have honey? Yeah, yeah. Um, although I like, uh, like with peanut butter, but I like... Uh, uh, blueberries, just put it right in the actual blueberries rather Natural. than jam because it's too much sugar. Yeah, yeah because I also, I also noticed that even um, even the fruits are full yeah. of um, sugar. Well, fruit is full of sugar, and but you're, when you're eating it, say a whole peach or whatever, yeah. it's not going to give you a sugar rush. I mean, if you're diabetic, you got to be careful. But if you don't have blood, I don't have blood sugar problems. And I had an integrative doctor who does uh, intravenous vitamins and certain vitamins, and he checked my blood work and he said it's equivalent to about a 35 year old no ways yeah no ways yeah. Dennis. no i did i wonder why you're so fit you know yeah. you are yeah. that so you know. yeah so so in other words the blood vessels which go through all your body you have about a gallon of blood like or a size of a pail yeah. of blood in your body and um, uh, doctors will say that one little thing drop like homeopathic products won't work mm -hmm. but you, one one drop of it can affect your whole body oh, yeah. um and uh, like that's why homeopathy is so good for pain, and you can put it under your tongue and so on. And it's there's they say there's nothing in it, but doctors don't know anything about mm -hmm. something. And if you don't know anything about something, or and you're biased, you can't talk to them about it. It's mm -hmm. so a waste of time. So um, when I have hockey injuries, um, I take homeopathic remedies like arnica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a doctor after I blew up my shoulder playing uh, hockey, uh, ripped all the muscles, and I had to have surgery, and they had to drilled holes and then run the muscle and, and I lost an inch. When I, it affected me playing tennis, it was really annoying. But anyway, he, the doctor, surgeon says, okay, here's a prescription for pain pill. I'm like, I don't need pain pills. So I you, take so, homeopathic remedies. So you didn't take that painkiller? Don't yeah. even. Uh, if you know what you're doing, mm. it's like anything else. Mm. And if you have a bias against something, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I, you got to show me the data and then I look at the data and I did make a decision based on what's the real stuff, not yeah. the fake stuff that yeah. comes from pharmaceutical companies and so on. Right. So I, I'm a researcher, so like I said, I publish in medical journals. So anyway, and <clears throat> um, in my clinic, we took care of pain and we just changed the diet. 
and we'd we'd improve their pain by uh, seventy to ninety percent to one hundred percent. You know, so it, it's leaky gut and it's food allergy. It's discovered a hundred years ago and been ignored by medicine, just like lots of cures are ignored by medicine. And they have an agenda, and it's based on the pharmaceuticals. I'm not anti-pharmaceutical. As I've said before, I'm anti-stupidity. And if you don't need them, you don't need them. So in my clinic, we would take people off of, uh, like you say, up to 20 pills a day. Wow. And, uh, uh, and put them back on nutrition and fix up their gut ecology and so on. So there's lots of things that can be done mm -hmm. with nutrition, but you've got to be committed to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I almost died 40 years ago because of the amalgams, the mercury amalgams in my teeth, and a dentist started pulling them out, didn't know what he was doing, yeah. didn't do detox, almost killed me. Yeah. I couldn't play hockey for about 11 years, and I was in that bad of shape. So I had to turn around and really go back into my study and research and so on, because I knew a lot already, mm -hmm. but I had to find out more stuff. And that's where diatomaceous earth came in, phenomenal stuff for pulling out toxins. So medicine's not into detox, you have to do detox. And uh, so there's lots of things that can help with health, and but determination is the most important. Amazing. Like when I play hockey, if I go yeah. into a boards with a yeah. young kid. Oh yeah, we're coming back to that. So, um, Dennis, yeah. are you saying that um, anyone who ever actually followed this method of, um, of living will be as healthy as you? If they're really dedicated to it? Yeah. And they um, follow the principles of natural health. Yeah, they will get better. Uh -huh. And they have to work on the cravings. That's the tough part. Craving is the hardest. Diet. I had a woman with. Uh, I'm still battling with cravings. Yeah, had a pro issue with stroke. Uh, she had a stroke. Uh -huh. um, and she finally listened to me, and I got her to lose 75 pounds by changing her diet. Oh wow! And. Um, uh, she was doing, I, her blood work got so good after the stroke, I took her off all the medications. I worked her, worked it down and I put her on a bunch of nutritional supplements and the integrative doctor was blown away by her blood work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the doctors kept pushing and pushing, well, you gotta go on the cholesterol lowering drugs, you gotta go do this because you had a stroke and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And now she's a mess again. Okay, now, so. now Dennis, I, um, there's something that's really, really important yeah. that I would like to discuss with you here. A very good friend of mine mm -hmm. in, uh, in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we have a problem. Okay? This is him. Okay. Yep. That's him. And now, this is a problem. He says, earlier this year, my cousin Charles was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of non, you know, um, Hawking, Hawking lymph, lymph, lymphoma. Non-Hodgkin's. Yeah, non-Hodgkin's. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is that? And then unfortunately, the treatment failed, and he has, uh, you know, he, he has been uh, advised that, you know, nothing else can, in, can be done for him in Ghana, in Africa. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah. they have to transport him somewhere in the, you know, like in the Western country, where the medicine is, um, is more advanced. Well, so what? Can yeah. this be done? Yeah, okay, so the medicine is advanced in that it's more chemo. Other than in Germany, they do low-dose chemo, which is works. Which works? With nutri intravenous nutrition. That's in Germany? Yeah. Okay, so... so Germany, okay. You, you can find the, there's clinics there that will do it. And um, first thing I would do is also, there's a bunch of different things you can do nutritionally. Uh, colloidal silver. Black seed oil. Let's say colloidal silver. Black seed oil, colloidal silver, which uh, uh, cancer is two things. It's a four letter word. It's acid, your body's acid, and the pH is acidic. And also, if you're full of its bugs, its infections. Doctors will say, no, it isn't. But any doctor who's discovered the infections, they kind of take his license away. Oh, yeah? Yes. So, colloidal silver. Colloidal silver and uh, to try and fight the bugs, uh, the infection, and black seed oil, which also, black seed oil, yeah. either one. And uh, <clears throat> there's certain herbs here in North America that can be used like SCFT, um, which, is a bunch, which is an old Ojibwe um, formula for treating cancer. Uh, so colloidal silver is either colloidal silver 
or black seed oil? Or both. It's good to take, or you can uh, take both treatment at the same of both. Time. Yeah, yeah. And to, what else? To rule out infections, and if it's a virus, they'll take care of fungus, virus. Um, no doubt in Africa, you have all sorts of other infections. Um, I've had people that uh, come here and the doctors try and find things. I had a woman that I, uh, we tried to treat. Uh, I sent her back to Africa um, because some of the ones know how to treat the types of, of tapeworms. Uh -huh. She had a tapeworm. And boy, it was hard to kill that sucker. We haven't killed it yet. But she's improved dramatically uh -huh. because they keep laying eggs. Uh -huh. And they couldn't find out what was wrong with her. They did surgery here, five surgeries, and they look exploratory, looking for it. And I said, no, no, it's, it's a tapeworm. So um, they wouldn't refer to the uh, uh, tropical unit here. So I said, you're from, she was from Ethiopia. And I said, you better go back home. And she did, and they've helped. But this sucker is so, she drank water. She shouldn't have drank. Oh, oh the water here is, you mean she got infected from, from the water the, in Africa? From the water in Africa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, unfortunately they get, uh, the doctors get their back up if you suggest something to them and mm -hmm. something they don't know and they don't think outside the box. Right. So anyway, okay. uh, Toronto Maple Leafs just had a, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, they had a Russian hockey player, young guy with brain cancer and they didn't bring him here, they sent him to Germany. And there was a physician using low dose chemotherapy with intravenous herbs or nutrition yeah. and mm -hmm. oral herbs and uh, they stopped them from from uh, doing that, <clears throat> from doing the low dose. They want high dose. Oh. I won't get into any more details on it, but the high dose is not good for you. Because <clears throat> it destroys your immune system and your immune system's in your gut, 75% of it. Okay, so um, what what's part of the world do you think you know has a better system to deal with this um, non non Hashkin? Well, I, I would say lymphoma. Germany. Yeah, that's I mean, Germany. You, there are Mexico. There's plenty of places in Mexico that will. So well. you see the uh, between Mexico and Germany. Yes. What yeah. about you? What about U.S. and Canada? There are some clinics in U.S., but most of them have their hands tied. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's easier to go to Mexico. What about Canada? And well, it's worse than the U.S. It's worse here. Yeah. Yeah. There's there are clinics in the U.S. that can help that as long as they don't get the authorities don't try and shut yeah. them down but then okay so in in, in mexico or germany is um is more yeah. easily uh, yeah you know available yeah yeah yep and uh uh mexico has uh, um that's where the low dose chemotherapy came from was there but most of the chemotherapy this history is, is from mustard gas from mm. the First World War, and it's just poison, it's toxic. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of people, you know, basically don't make it with... Um, Doing what? They don't really make it. No, no, the majority on, don't. On, on chemo. Your life, your life is shortened. Uh, you, if you take chemo, uh, according to the literature, you can live up to five years. If you don't take it, you live up to 12. That's average. I'm not talking. There's individuals that are going to die early without chemo, but many of those go to alternative treatments, and alternative treatments won't work. Some herbalists can help. Yeah, because as we're talking now, I, uh, I, 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 I believe he's on chemo now. Yeah, if he's on chemo, yeah, that just destroys your immune system. So how your how's your body going to fight it? Can't. It it it's trying to do everything instead of uh, and not allowing. But but if you can feed the nutritional nutrition in your gut where your immune system is 75 percent like i said about um, that helps build your up your immune system so it can work against the uh, tumor or whatever it is the, the mm. chemo it is mm. and we know that that uh, stomach cancer strictly is it's a bug it's h pylori oh is this is stomach is this from the stomach no 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 that's not but, that's not. No, but but I'm just saying that mm. shows you infections can. Yeah. That's the number one cause of Absolutely, stomach yeah. cancer. Because most of the disease starts from the stomach, right? Yeah. Well, uh, and your immune system's here. So you, if you have a weakened immune system, there's going to be issues here, and it's not necessarily going to be because don't forget the bloodstream carries whatever mm. around the infection or whatever yeah. this cause. Yeah. And it could be fi uh, <clears throat> It could be a virus. It could be a, a fungal infection and or a bacterial infection that could can morph into and cause cancer. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, it's, 
some things aren't recognized by conventional medicine yeah. because they have an agenda and chemotherapy is their agenda. Okay, so now if you have to um, deal with, um, with this, you know, friend of mine, yes. what's the first thing you're going to put on? Put, well, uh, the, for than, infections, the, those are uh, uh, natural products. Uh, oil of oregano like, is another one. Oregano oil. Yeah, if you can taste the taste, it's gross, but it works. Mm. And um, so anything to fight an infection, you know, garlic fights an infection, it helps with that. And there's other things, but uh, black seed oil has a, the best reputation against cancer. Colloidal silver is second, would be about second. Um, because the term for black seed oil is um, is um, it's for everything but but death, so it works for a lot of things. And that's black seed oil. Black seed, yeah. Mm. That's a product that originally came from India, but it's yeah. most places have lots of it now. Mm. And then what does India also? Because they were also talking about sending him to to India. Well, I don't. I couldn't say for India. I can for Germany and Mexico. Yeah, Mexico, so yeah, either, yeah, German, yeah. either Germany or and, Mexico. And Mexico is probably a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and and so we're talking along the U.S. border, Tijuana, and places around there. Yeah. And there are places that look after it there, and they're not uh, they're not as affected by the, the governmental authorities up here. Mm. So they can work with patients and get them better. Yeah. But, so so what's the um, what what how can one prevent such diseases from happening? Better diet, nutrition, <laughs> staying off the junk foods, and uh, sugar. And sugar. Sugar, sugar feeds cancer. And um, so, there, and alkalinizing your body. So just all over alkalize, health. To yeah. alkalize the body. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, you do that by greens products, like natural products, like uh, mixed with probiotics and and various uh, other types of uh, natural products mm. that are in there. And the greens have, uh, well, you know, we put you on it before, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, like, you know, like diatomaceous. The diatomaceous is different. It's No, so it, it, diatomaceous, that's more of your of your probiotic, right? Eh? No, it's not a probiotic. It's a, it's a um, these are little diatoms. They're hard yeah. and then, and they go in and shred anything in your, in your gut with, um, uh, bacteria, fungus, and so on. So that's really good for, because that's a source of a lot of infections. You, because you're still on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on it for 10, 15 years. Um, anyway, and it, it pulls out toxins on a regular basis, heavy metals, and so mm. on. So it's really good. There are other ones too that are good, Yeah. but it's dirt cheap, because it is dirt. Yeah, <laughs> but then again, with that measures, um, I've been off that measures for yeah. like, um, for about a month now. Yeah. So I'm going back again. Yeah, just start slow again. Just start slow again. Just And you can get right back up to it. Yeah, and I can take it in the morning? Yep, on right. an empty stomach. On yep. empty stomach, right? Yep. And then yep. uh, I don't have to worry about yeah. breakfast. Yeah. So it looks like I'm gonna have to start eating at 12 o'clock then. Yeah, well, it, you can. You don't have to. I mean, you can, no, you I can eat a half hour later. Mm. It, it depends, but uh, um, you know, there, there's always controversy about diet. You have, now there's a backlash and people are saying that mm. that uh, um, intermittent fasting isn't good for you. Well, for crying out loud, if you fast completely mm. for five days and mm. you've had, just drink water, and mm. for five days and you have health issues, a lot of those health issues will be cleared right up. You know what happened yeah. with my craving as well? Yeah. Before I go to bed, yeah. let's say I go, I have my last meal at, um, at seven o'clock. Yeah. And then eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I'm hungry. Yeah. I want to eat. Mm -hmm. But then I really, really, you know, try not to. Yeah. And then kind of, you know, hold myself, you know, yeah. keep, have my willpower not to until I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Guess what happened? I'm supposed to be hungry in the morning yeah, because I went to bed hungry. Yes. The You're craving not. is gone. I don't feel like eating yes. and I'm just all right. Yes. What, yes. what, what caused that? Uh, because when you have cravings, that's that your, um, your body is wanting those things and mm. want it, it's like a, a, a easy way to like an allergy mm -hmm. Mm. okay so but if you go off all foods for four days or five five days you won't feel hungry yeah you yeah get, that's that, so because the also affect your blood sugar so there's some of that but it's also because you have a situation where you are 
uh, really need to, uh, you crave it because you, those are the things you want and crave, right? Mm -hmm. Like alcoholics. Mm -hmm. Alcoholics people go by regular that they're just alcoholics. No, most of that is cravings for the, the particular grain that's in there. According to studies that were found in the 1950s that have been mm -hmm. ignored by medicine, mm -hmm. by, by uh, clinical ecologists or environmental docs mm -hmm. who looked into that. And they found that most alcoholics, it's, it's the grain, the yeast, the grapes, or whatever, their mm -hmm. favorite drink that right. they have to have all the time. They crave it. And, they're, and that uh, um, it's a complicated process, but that's the similar thing that's happening with people who have cravings on food. It's the food is caught, it, you're allergic to that food, so if you don't eat that food, there's less chance of having oh. it. Okay? That's so amazing. something in the diet is causing that issue where you have a craving. Mm. And the hard thing is to go off it completely. Wow. And when you go off it completely within a short time, you won't have the cravings for it. The tough one is sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, um, it's quite complicated. Because they're also an allergic to it. It's yeah. an allergic reaction. Uh -huh. And medicine doesn't recognize that, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's discovered 100 years ago. Amazing. And, Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So um, now, you know, um, Dennis, I am. Um, I'm um, I'm trying to uh, to find a way that um, that we can you know to to be able to help a friend of mine in in Africa mm -hmm. for to, to get treatment mm -hmm. because first of all there there is no doctors yeah. or the treatment yeah. or the specialist yeah. you know that can help him so now the doctors advise to get him outside the country for help yeah okay so now. There's not enough um, money, there's yeah. no fund that can you know, support to give, get him out of the country for him okay. to get the treatment. Okay. So um, yeah. we're also looking at going using the GoFundMe, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. route. Well, yeah. I, I, Do you have any advice? No, no, that, it, it's probably over 30,000 now. Uh, and they usually can take care of tumors and stuff and ca cancer within three weeks. You don't tell that to regular medicine. Um, I know people have gone there and have had great sick. I'm not saying everybody, yeah. because there's a lot show up too late. Uh -huh. And uh, But when they do have the treatment, um, um, for instance, a woman I know of had uh, tumors all over her lungs. They said, you got six months to live. And went down to Mexico, and uh, it took care of her in three weeks. They put her in a hot tub to raise the heat mm -hmm. of her body. Intravenous nutrition and oral herbs, and usually they use Lugal solution iodine, because iodine also will fight cancer. Oh yeah? yeah? Okay, is there any particular place in Mexico that yeah. you will think, or you will know, or anyone that know can recommend? Yeah, 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 I, ha I have it in my computer. Yes, So. okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. love to, yeah. to have I that just have as well. To look. If I don't, I can find them. Doesn't yeah, take long. I, I will, can't find them. I, yeah, I, I'm just gonna put a reminder yeah, yeah. so that I can, yeah. you know, send you to, yeah. to, um, to get us the the information. Yeah. And then, um, and at the same time, also, um, while waiting to get a help. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? You, is there anything? Do you know any information that can help in terms of um, GoFundMe or getting trying to get the funding and or well, like works. seeking for help? I, I, I do you know anything helped, about? I diagnosed a woman. Or, mm. She had uh, uh, breast issues, and yeah. she'd been to a dozen physicians. They couldn't fix her. Okay. And she did, I, I said, explain to me what your, happened. Uh, she was sent to me by uh, a clinic, and they mm. didn't know. So I said, I just asked her some simple question. Um, tell me about your health. She, uh, when, it, when did it go downhill? Okay. Um, what did you do before? Okay. She had breast implants. Ah. And I said it takes three to five years for the breast implants, the seeping of it, the chemicals to have a toxic reaction, but it doesn't do it with everybody. And sure enough, uh, she had, uh, uh, she was on the third year right after, uh, after the transplant. They did GoFundMe. I sent a name to some doctors and I knew there, I, I checked it out uh, on the net, found one in uh, Cleveland and they went down there and fixed her up and she's fine today. She's, her health wow. was great and her health was a disaster. And she was a nurse, so not a good idea to get breast implants. 
But she should know, you know, like, and you know. And her husband pushed her. <laughs> the husband pushed her. And then that. he left her anyway. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, anyway, um, the, you never take no for an answer that something can't be done. Mm -hmm. And if it can't be done, it's incompetence of whoever's doing it. So if you went to a mechanic trying to fix your car and he couldn't, you go to another mechanic because somebody, some might know more. Yeah. So um, anyway, those are the suggestions I have. Germany is good that way, be very expensive, mm. and then Mexico would be a lot cheaper. Mm. And okay. uh, bonus, you get a nice trip out of it in uh, warm weather. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, that's good. That's good. So, um, so, and then, you know, Dennis, when do you see yourself retiring? From, from hockey? Uh, I'm planning on going, I'm definitely in my 80s, but I accept longer. Because there, there are guys that play up to their 90s. Oh, wow. I'm probably pretty slow, but I'm not slow, so I don't. <laughs> wow. I am annoyed because uh, five years ago, I could skate as fast as 40 year olds. Mm -hmm. Now I only skate as fast as 50 year olds. That's pretty annoying. No, nope, annoying. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> impressive, eh? It's quite yeah, impressive. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I just, I've always been a good skater, so, but it's, it's annoying. But as I said, I'm pretty competitive. I'll have a heart attack if I'm fighting for the puck I'll, yeah. uh, with a guy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go after it, and so I'm pretty competitive. I don't have to be, but, yeah. I, but I am. Okay, so now to conclude this, right? Yeah. Your morning routine um, oh, okay. is, um, is um, the first thing is no breakfast. Right. And it's diet matches. Yes. You use um, how many? Uh, uh, camu camu, a tablespoon of diatomaceous earth. Brush my teeth with it. Oh yeah, you brush your teeth with, with it, the diatomaceous? Yeah, yeah, and toothpaste. It works fantastic. Okay. And then. But so you don't add toothpaste. You, that's yeah, what, I that's do both. Oh, yeah, a little bit, just okay. a tiny bit. Okay. You don't need much. Okay. And and the diatomaceous earth also um, it uh, uh, it works for bacteria if you have it in your mouth and so on. So it works fantastic for that. And then I just, uh, I don't, uh, I'll, I'll eat and then I have a, I'll have a lunch and then I'll have a snack probably about four or five o'clock mm -hmm. and then eat seven or eight or whatever. Okay, eat. and then when you mentioned earlier that you take, you know, a lot of supplements. Yeah. What are those supplements exactly? Okay, we went through them before. So yeah. those ones, so you're caught in serapeptase. Um, okay, hold Mac. on. Um, that's your... Uh, my go-to. You take, yeah, okay, when do you take them? In the morning or afternoon okay. or at night? Rhodiola, I take in the morning with the camo, camo. That's a rhodiola. stomach and the serapeptase and the nac. So I take four things. So you're uh, getting the proteolic enzyme. The rhodiola on, on empty stomach, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I take uh, moringa after my lunch. A couple moringa. And moringa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Moringa, I'll take my PQQ10 with a coenzyme Q10. So that's for the heart, it feeds PQQ10, the heart. PQQ10, right? So before hockey, I take extra Camu Camu. I take extra PQQ with coenzyme Q10 because it feeds your heart. And it works on the mitochondria. And, and, and so it gives you more energy. Mm -hmm. And that's why different ones... Is this, after, is this before or after? Before. Before, or before, the, before the match? Before the before hockey. Before hockey, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And I'll drink... Uh, coconut water and you drink coconut water because it's uh, electrolytes and it, oh yeah. <clears throat> okay no sugar no sugar yeah <laughs> the sugar ones are cheaper but uh, you don't want it, it defeats the whole but where do you get where do you get the nice sugar because they all seem what's that the, the where do you get yeah the coconut because they all they all taste sweet uh the ones i don't uh i get the it's by grace non-sugar grace Grace, yeah. non sugar. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, or I've been, chicken, you know, I've been around. You, you know, I've been around in most of this. Um, yeah, most of these shopping malls. Yeah, I yeah. Just couldn't find. They all taste sweet. Okay, well, there, uh, the one I usually go to is uh, just over here. Yeah. On uh, Dundas, it's called da -da, not Food Basics. Which one is it? One with the yellow sign. Uh -huh. no, just can't think of it. Okay, what about um, serapeptase? Well, serapeptase is for, it's a prolic enzyme. It, it pulls out all the toxins in your blood vessels. It's an enzyme and it chews up bad things um, that adversely affect your health and such as uh, uh, 
we have issues with, uh, and that's where antioxidants are good, but also prolific enzymes are good. So you have the advantage with the antioxidants, which are in Moringa as well, because it's amino acids, it's got yeah. everything. That's yeah. why Moringa is So what so do you good. take sarpeptase with? Empty stomach with empty the, stomach. the NAC. Yeah. With, oh, you take it, we can take it with NAC? NAC, okay, sarpeptase, okay. and the two others. Um, okay. Uh, camu Camu, as I mentioned. Okay. And rhodiola. Yeah, because rhodiola. That gives, yeah. You, that gives you energy. It de-stresses de you. Yes, that's right. It works. Yeah, because like now, uh, I I do a lot of traveling. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm always on the road. I'm yeah. like, I go to different places. Hard to keep things up. Yeah, yeah. and um, first of all, I need to maintain a certain energy level. Yeah. yeah. And I also need to maintain my cognitive. Yeah. And make sure that, you know, I, when I, um, ever, you know, after the interview, yeah. I go home, I sit on the computer, I can be able to, you know, because I do most of the work myself. Well, if you so take the rhodiola, to get exhausted. Yeah. And if you take the rhodiola in the morning. In the morning, yeah. That will give you energy through the day. Okay. It reduces stress. Mm -hmm. It helps you sleep better. Okay. So that's the best for that. If you take moringa at two in the morning and two in the evening, you can't take, if you want to have real energy, you take it at supper time and that'll give you energy for the evening. Oh. But you, harder to sleep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you want. Yeah, again, also, yeah. I would love not to sleep, yeah, but yeah. you have to you have to sleep. sleep then. Okay, so Dennis, yeah, yeah um, thanks for your time. Thank yeah. you for um, for all the beautiful information yeah. that um, definitely going to help the people out there mm -hmm. because uh, you are a huge inspiration mm -hmm. to me and I, I'm sure to the community as well. Yeah. There's just so much that I've learned from you over the years and what you also did to me mm. with in, in, in terms of my health. Mm -hmm. Now I can be able to move around and go places freely mm -hmm. without worrying about, you know, And not my, falling asleep. Yeah, falling yeah. asleep, you know, that's right, you know, and then the food <laughs> that I eat yeah. or my stomach or yeah, any, yeah, you know, yeah. issue, all gone. Yeah. And I definitely wanted to make sure that every now and then yeah. we do touch base again yeah. yep. so that, you know, we can continue, yep. you know, inspiring yep. the community. Well, the latest thing now, I've known about it, but I didn't really pursue it, which because I'm on so many things, yeah. and and that's the earthing or grounding, electron deficient. Okay. And because we've lost connection with the earth, because everybody's walking around with rubber soled shoes, mm -hmm. and and walking in apartments not on the ground floor. We're walking this place on bare feet. If we go bare feet on here, we're better or in our stocking feet are fine. Can I take off my shoes now? Got to worry about. The, I was thinking we can do it right on here. That's oh, right down here. As soon as you touch the brick.